All right, guys, hope y'all are ready for another awesome episode. Uh, got a pretty awesome guest on this one. This is a USC fighter, local boy, Georgia, Mr. Cody Durden. And uh, Cody and I have been talking for, I don't know, probably a year and a half. And Cody called me today and he said, hey man, you think there's any chance that we could uh, chase one together before the end of the season? It's like, well, yeah, heck yeah, man. Uh, Cody and I, have kicked, we've been talking for probably a year and a half about deer hunting and trail camera pictures and sharing stuff and whatever. And I, always, I follow him and his friend, friend Michael Fortner is an MMA fighter. They, they kind of help each other out a lot. And, but Cody's actually made it into the UFC now and just fought his first contract to four fights, won three of them, the last three actually, the most important ones. And um, he is, uh, he's ready to go kill a bird. So Cody has never killed a turkey. He has... I thought he had killed one, but he had actually called one in for Michael maybe last year. And then I think he's missed a, bird, a couple of birds. Uh, something happened, missed one with a bow, one with a gun. Just had some unfortunate uh, things happen. So I'm gonna try my best to help Cody out and see if we can't get him his first bird. Um, I've got some places we can go in the back of my head. I know some birds were early in the year, so we can bounce around, try to hit them. In the meantime, Cody's like, hey man, I just had a, a gobbler show up on my camera. Uh, it looks like he's a pretty big beard on him. He said, you think we should go after him? And I'm like, well, has anybody hunted it? Absolutely not. Uh, it's not a huge place, but it's big enough to go chase turkeys. It's a, it's a field and some woods around it that we can hunt. And uh, it looks like it sets up. So, hey, why not? Let's go give it a try. So, I'm going to get up in the morning. It takes me about an hour and 15 minutes to get to Cody's house. Um, I'm going to run down there, pick him up. Michael's going to tag along with us. I'm gonna give Michael my GoPro. I usually wear it on my head, but I'm actually gonna give it to Michael and let him just tag along with us with the GoPro. And it's kind of a weird a weird area. He said he's never had a turkey on camera ever, and he runs cameras for deer all the time there. So this could be one of those really weird old birds that just showed up, or he's lost, or it's a young two-year-old walking his rear end off. But based on the picture I saw, it ain't no two-year-old. So um, anyway, we're gonna get up in the morning. We're gonna meet Cody and see if we can make it happen. Um, some of you have had questions about my gobbler decoys. Um, this is my gobbler decoy that I run more, more than any of them. And uh, I love gobbler decoys more than hen decoys because it's a threat or a challenge to another gobbler to steal the hen. So I don't even take a hen decoy anymore, ever. Hadn't in a long time. But very important. Um, this is a carry light pretty boy decoy that they made probably 15 years ago when i bought it and i bought two of them i shaved this one down i cut the back off of it i repainted everything including his head which i think is extremely important um i'm really big on painting the cap of a gobbler's head white i fell in love with this decoy because the head is so big you can see i mean my hand i don't have big hands but that is a big old head on that thing and i'm telling you i think that really grabs their attention especially when you throw in a real fan. This is a fan off the bird I killed in Illinois. If y'all hadn't seen that episode, go check it out because it's some phenomenal footage. But um, I pop that fan in there. I get behind it with my bow, shotgun. You can, you can fan with it. You can just set it up in the field and let the wind just kind of rock the fan back and forth a little bit on a, on a setup. And I, I believe it's, it's helped a lot, especially throwing some really, really good calling, some gobbling. Y'all hear me gobble a lot. Um, I love to challenge a gobbler. So, gobbler decoy, gobbling with the mouth, um, hen calling, make it work. So, uh, I'm going to put this up in the morning for Cody. Matter of fact, I run an uh, Avian X Jake also that I painted the head on, and I'll probably run them together as a pair because usually when a gobbler shows up and he's like, oh, heck no, I ain't having that, and he's going to book it straight to you. And that'll give Cody plenty of time to get a shot off, uh, hopefully on his first bird. So, Let's uh let's get after it. We'll see y'all in the morning. Introduce you to Cody. Let's go. All right, guys. Just pulling up at Cody's house right now, and uh, let's go see this UFC fighter. What's up? Monday. What's up, brother? Not much. How huh? you been? Good, man. Congrats on the fight the other night. Hey. Well, took it to him. How you doing, brother? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Hey, we better get going, though. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. So turn. I am a little bit late. Yes, I am. So <laughs> it was actually about an hour and 15 minute drive. 
and had to get fuel and then i missed a couple turns because i'm running my mouth on my phone so we are uh, running a little bit late but the good news about turkey hunting and running late is and when you're filming you gotta have light to film so no rush we'll get in there we're also hunting a uh, a bird that's kind of what i call a, like a funky funky acting bird like so cody you've you've been watching cameras over there and there's yeah. not ever been a turkey really not one turkey and yeah. they hit you up and i just was checking my camera last night and saw longbeard on that's there right. like, oh my gosh so this is one of those spots it's like one just pops up it's not a really turkey you know habitat type area um it's not city but it's not country it's kind of weird and he just showed up so he may be there he may be a half a mile away he had about two and a half hours last night to walk uh before he flew up now there is a pond on the neighbor's property not far away and i'm hoping that he's roosted on the pond dam or close behind that pond dam so we're gonna get in there get set up i'm just going well on the call it's either gonna happen or not uh if he's around he's gonna come if not then we're gonna scratch out and we'll just have to go find a bird somewhere else so see y'all at daylight let's go Too far. Now he's deep in the woods, but he ain't too far.
something stupid happens and you miss, pop the gun up. There's two more shells on the sleeve, you see? Point out, pop it in, boom. Got the hammer, boom. Absolutely freaking hammered. Yes! Hammered, son. Yes! That's Jay Maxwell. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's how First you work a bird. Ever. First turkey ever. Holy cow. Let's go, Michael. Oh my god! Put the hammer down. Couldn't have happened without Dude. This guy. Dude. We just worked the snot out of him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I am. Man, oh. 
Oh my <laughs> god, dude. I am in. That's better than fighting. <laughs> That's better yeah. than fighting. I didn't I'm want to you get too close. I, I don't even get shook up fighting anymore. And I'm I was sitting shaking. there yeah. and I was, trying, <laughs> I was trying, I was trying to control myself, but everything slowed down. And Michael said, shoot him, shoot him. Well, yeah, I got him in the frame and I was like, I'm not waiting on this joker anymore. Yeah. Oh he's my four, gosh. Yeah. He's like uh, a little under 40 yards and that's perfect. That's where my pattern with Indian Creek choke, it opens up perfect right there. It gives you plenty of plenty of room for error. Dude, you I am- absolutely freaking hammered him too. I am on, I am dude, my, the emotions I have Come on. right now is <laughs> undescribable. Let's, let's go. And people don't understand it. Awesome, dude. So just let him just let him flop around and kick. It's better than going down there and putting your head your foot on his head or anything. He's a flopper. You hammered him, son. Oh my god. It's a giant. This is where he was. So cool. He came up here all bowed up. Oh man, he was. Oh my god. Golly, we had to work that joker this morning though. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was a long hunt. I mean, that's got to be two and a half hours, three hours of just listening to this bird. Hey. That's a, he's old. He's old and, and he's big. He did not want to. I can yeah. promise oh you that. Exactly what yes. Do. Like you said, creep up there, show him. Yep. Show him. Hey, you see I'm how fast here. he came in? Yeah. He came up all boat. Dude, up. Well, so when I when I when I when I crawled up right there, yeah. he was about that log down there. He was kind of going like that, and I showed it to him, and he turned and looked, and I was like, he saw it. Boom. <clears throat> Down, I'm gone. Yeah, I saw you get back. I was like, okay. Lay that oh. gun down and pick him up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Yeah, watch him. He's still kicking a little bit. You can grab him by the head. It's probably the best thing to do. Don't grab his feathers in case you want to mount him or anything. Dude, Just hold on to his beautiful. head. Oh, he's a giant. Oh, my Look at that beard. He's a freaking giant. Look at that beard. He's a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Is that He's an a inch? freaking giant. Dude, that's, that's bigger inch. than any bird I've ever killed in my life. No. Yes, sir. 100%. Are you, are you kidding me? 100%. Dude, that thing right Dude. there. Dude. That's over an inch and a half. Oh my oh. god. I told you, Michael. Dude. I freaking told you, dude. Dude, that thing is a giant. Dude, you just killed a freaking giant. I'm not kidding. I should melt the whole thing, huh? Oh god, yes. This is a no brainer. Oh my oh gosh. My I just beat a top 20 guy on Saturday, a top 20 fighter in the world. <laughs> Smoked them, got a new contract. Hey, I'm announcing it. I just got a new four fight contract with the UFC, and uh, I told Dana White I want to get paid. And here we are on Thursday, oh five days later, just smoked a freaking giant. Dude, he's a freaking dinosaur. That, that is. Let me tell you that, something, son. Oh my god. Let me tell you something. That right there is equivalent to killing a 200 inch deer. Yeah. Really? I'm not yeah. even kidding you That's right now. Are you insane. kidding me? No, you just killed a freaking giant. That's oh insane. my gosh. Wow. Dude, that's going to push the inch and three quarter. Oh, uh, we in the books. Yes. We in the books. Dude. Giant. And his beard Look is a giant beard. too. the thickness of it. Oh my. He's a double beard. Double beard. Yeah. Is that what it was? I, knew, a, I knew it was. He's a double beard. A legit double beard. Cody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude. I'm so sore. You just killed yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Dude. Indeed, I'm going to tell you something. You absolutely pulverized his head at 40 yards. Yeah. With an Indian, that's an Indian Creek choke oh tube. Oh my. Dude, out of I a, am so dude. happy, man. You, you. <laughs> dude, this could never have happened without you. This could never have happened. Oh my God! Dude, that is, I Can mean, you believe you got a picture of him yesterday while we were talking, and we're like, I was, I just said, no, no, I just said, hey man, let's find a bird for you, and then you were like, uh, dude, <laughs> I just had one show up on camera. Yeah, so we've been, oh, about, we've been talking about, we've been talking about, we've been talking about going hunting for a while, and uh, you told me, hey, I'm gonna get you a bird after the fight, and you know, I held you, I held you to it, I hit you up, and. Uh, Oh dude. my. That puts mine to shame. Dude, I'm not kidding. Let me tell you something, man. This bird, y'all, you think I'm kidding? This bird weighs like 16 or 17 pounds at the most. This is a dinosaur. I killed, <coughs> I killed a dinosaur in Illinois. <coughs> but let me tell you something. Dude, this is the largest bird I've ever held in my life. Really? I have killed hundreds. Wow. 
Hundreds. That's crazy, man. I mean, man. you said that on the way over here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Some people don't care about the Spurs. I do. Yeah. Oh, We're going full. That's special. Cody. We're going full Dude. body mount on this joker. Dude. I'm, I am pumped, man. Let me you tell you. You have no idea. God is good, y'all. He is. is. The way it's set up, I mean. My word. You couldn't. Couldn't have said that any better. Y'all, uh, y'all can tell I, I, I'm just speechless right now because this Cody just killed an absolute giant double beard, y'all inch and three quarter. I, I don't even know what they are. These are giants. Let's go, baby. Hey. <laughs> got it you done. Took, Look at that beard. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, dude. You took your time too. Oh dude. man, it's beautiful. beautiful we had shot. to work the snot out of him though. Multiple setups, but you just the way he's acting, y'all. I'm telling you, you can tell when a bird is old. He didn't even have a hen with him. No, nope. you know the whole time I kept telling him, I was like, you must have a hen with him or something. But then in the back of my mind, I'm going, you know, that's the characteristics of a really, really old, smart, smart. He is trying to get me to come to him, me to come to him, and I triggered him. I'm pretty sure he saw the decoy, but he was already working. We had done worked him. 150 yards yeah. left, right, zigzag, yeah. up, down. I'm talking about for an hour and a half we've been working this joker. And then he, he got pretty good. Oh, yeah. Dude, the feeling oh, I got when gosh. he walked in. I, I'm pretty sure you saw the decoy. I think everything that you did was like the, the, the last thing. He's a 200 incher. Yeah. Stud. One, if I if you killed him with a bow, 100% archer state record for sure. Oh, my God. No doubt about it. Dude, it's a giant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Pro probably because you're wearing that Aussie hat is what it was. That's yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. what it is. Dude, you know what? Dude, can I buy this? That one? is no. I'm giving it to you. That is yours. Dude, I'm <laughs> telling yes, you, it is so hey, comfortable. Matter of fact, here's some gloves to match it. Hey, there you go. <laughs> damn, get me you a, a nice me. bird and and some gloves. Oh and some... my god. Wow, man, I'm just so happy and thankful for you, Jay. This is this is phenomenal. It's amazing. Oh, shot his tail feathers up a little bit, but. A really good texture I'm just gonna fix that. Yeah. Wow. It's okay. Oh my gosh. No. And this beard is super long. That's oh legit. My that's, gosh. that's oh my gosh. I mean it's over eleven. Bro, we thought what mine was dude, big. I'm telling you. I mean Dude, this is this a is giant. Huge. I mean this I'm talking huge. about over eleven and probably nine. An inch and three quarter. How old do you think the bird is? <laughs> uh There, let me tell you, it's really hard to age a bird, okay? I, yeah. I know of birds getting killed this year that have been radio transmitted and killed. Yeah. And they're, now the, the lifespan of a wild turkey is roughly 9, 10. I mean, that is an ancient bird. Yeah. Oh, wow. But there are birds being killed right now that are transmitted by the Department of Natural Resources, biologists, and these birds are like seven, eight, eight years old. And they got like one inch spurs, one and eight. So it's really yeah. hard. It's about genetics, and it's kind of like yeah. it's kind of like me hunting with Seek One, you know, mm -hmm. up in Atlanta area. Yeah. yeah, the Atlanta area, that corridor just has genetics. genetics. So you can take you can have a 115 inch three year old. Yep, yep. And like where I grew up in Little Thompson, Georgia. Yeah, man, I'm talking. I was killing six and seven year olds 100 inches. Yeah, 100 yeah, inches. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. And that's cool. Hey, yeah. I just like killing deer. Yeah, you know exactly. But if you're gonna kill a big deer, you gotta hunt where the genetics are. Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing with a turkey. If you get if you find another bird in here, he's gonna have the same genetics. Yeah, he'll have big spurs, but dude. Yeah. You just killed a freaking giant. The largest, the largest bird that I've <laughs> yeah. ever held in my life. Oh my gosh. Co Cody Durden, UFC, yeah, yeah. Michael go. Fortner, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy, bro. No, Thank but, you. Oh man. Yeah. It, without without you, Jay, I'm telling you. We would have never got this bird. <laughs> you sweet talked his butt. Oh my god. I'll tell you that. Killed hey, him. this is why I got you, Michael, so you can, yeah. <laughs> you can take this heavy bird out. God <laughs> dang. That's what I'm talking about. Killed him with yes. the goat, y'all. Yep. 4610 mouth calls. You can go online and find them on my store. Uh, worked him and worked him and worked him with this call all morning long. Yeah. Wow. A beauty. <laughs> oh, my God. This bird is so beautiful. Did the, uh, was the shot cam on by then? It was. Yes, baby. I turned it on. And, dude, he <laughs> dude, was strutting, I, looking straight I, at me. I have bro. a beautiful shot, too. I have you calling. I have him coming up, cresting it. And him blowing up, it was beautiful. He smashed it. Dude, I saw his whole head just go. Yeah, yeah, I knew Dude, it was a good it, shot. It shot him so fast, I didn't see him fall he like until there. I saw some flop, and I was there like, oh, I smoked him. Oh my god. That I is a hand-loaded shell. That's a number nine shot. 
TSS from my buddy Aaron Ward in North Georgia. That's a hand loaded shell. You can't buy them. Oh my God. Well, I'm you can, but you got to contact me. Bushnell, Bushnell Red Dot on this. It's Stevens M301. This is wow. a turkey killing machine right here. Uh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> God, this mug's heavy, man. Proud of you, bro. <laughs> Let's take this joker back and get some pictures, man. Yes. Holy cow. Yeah. All right, we just got through with some. We got through with some awesome pictures right there. I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in loss for words right now, man. That this giant you have killed. Let's go, baby. Cody Durden, Michael Fortner, UFC. Just choke it on play, man. He comes, he, 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 <laughs> he, he goes on big every time. Yep. Dude, you just went four for four, by the way. Yep. Because that is an ancient warrior, and you just Let's smoked go. him. <laughs> Proud of you, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. There's more episodes out there. Y'all go get them. Like, share, subscribe. We love y'all.